Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the Land of Low Friction for 2023. All right, so uh, yeah, just a bit of a channel update really. So this year um, I am looking to move to just doing, overall it's going to be a lot shorter videos, uh, just general updates on a whole bunch of the topics that uh, we want to be updating and improving information on across the year. Uh, you would have seen the first sort of 23 episodes for Zero Friction Cycling were you know they were sort of filmed by an actual sort of internet video company so someone actually properly filming me and editing and uploading so that was sort of why uh, things uh, looked and sounded um, not too bad the main problem was just me not ever being able to properly find the time to you know script the episodes and you know prep for the episodes properly so my rambling was sometimes pretty sort of all over the place uh, however we hopefully covered the you know the main topic sort of okay and I do thank you for all of those that have sort of subscribed and following and watching the videos uh, in general the comments back on the videos have been really supportive um, and very thankful for I guess the information that we're trying to get out so that's been amazing um, this year I'm going to try to just do a lot better on this front um, and part of that is you know, moving away from the actual sort of film days which I could never really prep uh, properly for to just being able to do updates you know from my sort of pc here in that shorter format get the uh you know sort of topics covered that i want to get covered uh you know updates on various issues covered and we'll see if we can sort of help um if, if this will help sort of grow uh, better engagement just by me being able to do this more regularly and not having that sort of such long format video which was really unfortunately needed when you're sort of pain to have someone sort of film them and edit it, edit them financially it uh, it was very very expensive to try to do short format so um, they were really used to cover the sort of the bigger topics longer topics first and so there'll be quite a change mostly for this year where it's going to be much shorter um, update vids and sort of cutting right to uh, the information on some topics <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes again let me know uh, in the comments how you find the I guess the new format in 2023 and also how you're finding the video quality sound quality because this is really so this one you're watching now is just the first attempt of me experimenting with uh, video capture software and a camera and a microphone uh, anything social media related is not my strong suit you probably will have seen that already uh, I am good at taking things apart and putting them back together. I am not great at all with IT and social media. So I am barely, barely on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, all that sort of stuff, apart from just things that I listen to in the background when I'm working. So uh, bear with me, but yeah, give me the, um, yeah, sort of in the, in the comments, just let me know how it's sounding, how it looks, and I will continue to try to work on just my, uh, I guess, presentation and actual talking skills. So uh, hopefully over the year um, from this one to the end, um, if we look at the end, uh, 2023 versus today, I will hopefully be doing a better job than today. Let's see. Um, <coughs> help me uh, reach that goal. Um, all right, so just in terms of what we'll be focusing on, uh, in 2023, I've got, I mean, apart from giving some just general updates on things where we're still getting a lot of inquiries about where really the information resources that are out there are, you know, in general are pretty poor or misleading, such as we're getting a lot of uh, inquiries recently on ultrasonic cleaning. Um, so ultrasonic cleaners are still sort of viewed by a lot uh, of the public as something that's just this magic item that they can buy, pop a chain in, press a button and get a magic result at the end now you can but there are a bunch of ins and outs to uh, your decision making on your ultrasonic and then how you properly use that ultrasonic i do have an ultrasonic uh, video and an ultrasonic guide it's still really clunky because i have struggled to concisely structure or put into a good format the structure of how to cover off what you should need to know uh, it is different if you're doing you know, initial cleaning of a chain versus if you're doing maintenance for a chain, if that chain is a, a drip lube that's, say, a wet lube or if it is a wax base. Uh, the size of your ultrasonic, if you're putting a, you know, your chain in a container, in a tank, all these things, um, there's a whole bunch of information. So um, just doing videos, again, covering, you know, things that are really topical in this space, such as ultrasonic cleaning, 
Uh, there's some you know, steel versus ceramic bearings that really needs to be covered off properly. Uh, the marketing spotlights that I'm doing, there's a, there's a pretty big list of things that I'll be sort of delving into um, uh, as I sort of launch into the new format uh, here for 2023. And I'll be aiming it for those sort of about 10 minute videos. Other big goals in 2023 is sort of part of the channel update really. Um, going to try to continue to work on improving cycling media reviews of, um, you know, the, in the bicycle chain lubrication space. It's an area that I think cycling media still really struggle a lot with because, um, you know, chain lubricant is something that's really hard to review. Uh, you can't just apply it to a chain, go for a few rides, even for even those that are riding it for an extended period of time more or less to them unless you've got some actual tangible data and really they need to get a bunch of you know sort of pretty accurate wear rate data from when they started to when they finished if you just write a lubricant you know by and large it is going to feel like a lubricant some may feel more dry some may feel more wet and feeling more wet and smooth that doesn't necessarily mean it is a better lubricant um, you won't feel if it's gathering a whole lot of contamination and becoming more abrasive and higher wear. If it feels and sounds silent and smooth to you, then again, Cycling Media can review that as, as a great lubricant. But if they're riding that silky smooth feeling, uh, wet lubricant off-road, and it's got a whole lot of contamination in it, and the wear rate's getting pretty high, you know, is that really the best choice for someone who's going to be riding gravel or and so on? You know, so in general, cycling media reviews on lubricants tend to really struggle because basically they will feel like a lubricant and a lot of them are just a rehash of the marketing material they were given by the brand for the lubricant or in a lot of cases, obviously, obviously for the bigger manufacturers, those bigger manufacturers can be you know, large advertisers for uh, the, those media uh, platforms and yeah, it is a rare platform, I think, that is not influenced by uh, those you know sort of advertising dollars that they really need to survive and are they going to again based on zero tangible information because they just don't have any because they haven't tested that way say something negative about um, a product from a main advertiser when they've got nothing really concrete to base that on so it's it's still a, a really big mess and so we see a lot with um, you know the cycling uh, media reviews for lubricants that are, we know are really poor lubricants yet they get glowing reviews and again it's because the the reviews are based on absolutely zero tangible information and so we want to try to change that um, I need to try I don't know how yet I'm going to effectively do this but I'm going to try to start tackling some of the cycling forums on uh, bicycle chain lubrication and chain maintenance I haven't found one yet that doesn't make my eyes bleed the information that is often um, I guess because you, you're just getting everybody just sort of comment on what they think and what's quite fascinating to me is the number of people that will comment uh, you know in this area stating something as an absolute empirical fact and again it is of zero zero um, sort of tangible or tested uh, information so there's a lot of really really poor information on uh, cycling forums uh, and that's forums are a place where a lot of especially sort of newer cyclists or new to thinking in this area go. Um, it could be, you know, an avid, you know, racer or a triathlete or whatnot, and they're starting to just really think about the lubrication space. They go onto a forum, and what they read is some often pretty scary stuff. So I want to try to, again, improve what's, what's happening uh, there, because the more information or the more better information we can get to the wider audience, Sorry for background uh, printer noise. Uh, that's going to be much better. Uh, overall, and yeah, on that uh, goal, so I've, I've been very um, thankful so far and very appreciative. I've uh, managed to be um, invited onto a, you know, a bunch of really good podcasts and YouTube videos over uh, the last, uh, especially the last couple of years, which has been fantastic considering my challenges with coherently speaking. So that's been that's been um, yeah, really an honour for little zero friction cycling and myself. Hopefully that'll continue this year, um, and because the, again the more sort of bigger, more established platforms that uh, that I can get onto, and try to get better information across in this space, it's just again it's just more drivetrains and more watts that we can save with actual proper, you know, proven independent information versus you know what is often sort of found in in the sort of cycling media in general. So. 
Um, yeah, briefly, that's the goal. So, you know, for 2023, so me updating, um, just being able to do this sort of from my own little setup here every sort of uh, two weeks, hopefully at max. So something you can sort of depend on to regularly update, uh, improving media reviews and information in this space, tackling cycling forums, um, continuing just to obviously update on all the main topics that are uh, you know, sort of relevant to the space from cleaning to bearings to the uh, latest testing, um, the spotlight that I have on the marketing, so the biggest marketing uh, claims going on at the moment, some of which are pretty extraordinary. Uh, and yeah, it just, uh, there's there's sort of, despite the fairly narrow focus of, um, of my little world in cycling, there's always a whole bunch of stuff going on. So uh, hopefully you'll find it uh, interesting and helpful. And again, yeah, thank you for uh, watching and thank you for the support. Uh, and I will see what I can uh, do on this space in uh, 2023 and just let me know how I'm going with that. All right, thanks everyone. Stay safe and stay low friction. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and other YouTube type things like share with your friends. Uh, so that'll keep you up to date with the latest low friction news and hints and tips. And um, yeah, also put any comments down below and I can uh, try to look at those and uh, take them into account for future episodes.